Hey guys, I'm back in the last part in Lock Jung Wei's level 11 weapon, the Prodigal. And now, we're going to Lock Zhou Yu's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 1 vote. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're going for Zhou Yu's, we have to go to his Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6th mod like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info. The equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the ancient sword at level 10. I can't equip any items, however, I am allowed bodyguards. So, I'll have all 8 bodyguards here. And I'll set the weapon to pike. And that pretty much covers it. So, let's do it. Alright. So, in order to obtain DS rank here in a Lakjo Yu's level 11 weapon, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general minus Jiga Liang and get 50 KOs. I am sure we will meet again, Lord Zhou Yu. You are not timed with defeating the enemy generals. However, I do recommend you defeating the first two right away. That way, you could actually have uh, your allies retreat. And then plan the ambush when Zhuge Liang shows up. Because if we don't, then they won't do that. And if both don't do that, then Zhuge Liang will have a very easy time trying to retreat. Anyways, let's just go for Mizhu now. Yeah, 50 KOs is easy. I'll worry about that later. I do need to focus on defeating Miju and uh, Sun Qian. I believe it's Sun Qian. Yep, Sun Qian. Alright, we'll go for him next. I'm right there. Alright, Sun Qian is down. Now we're gonna go for Zheng Fei and then Guan Yu. Note with those two and Zhao Yun, two of them will challenge you to a duel. However, that is random on uh, who exactly will challenge you and who won't. So we'll find out in a second with Zheng Fei. I'm not going to try to really go all out just yet because uh, he might challenge me to a duel. Nope, so it will be Guan Yu and Zhao Yun. I would prefer to not have to worry about Zhao Yun, but you know what, that's fine. Whoops. Fortunately, there's health over here. Which I'll grab right now. Whoops. Why am I fucking up? That will help out, um, a lot. Unless that happens. Alright, now it's my time to run. Thank God I'm actually faster than Zheng Fei. I'm not worried about Zhuge Liang just yet, because, uh, we will have both, uh, Xu Sheng and, uh, Ding Fong help us out there. Anyways, how am I fucking up with these attacks? Anyways, Zheng Fei is down. Hopefully I won't fuck up in these next two duels. Because uh, both Zhao Yun and Guan Yu will challenge me to a duel. I would strongly advise you to 
try to challenge them and uh, beat them. That way it would be one less uh, general you have to worry about in the battlefield. Anyways, here comes Guan Yu. So when he shows up, I'm just going to head over this way. Like I said, Guan Yu, Zheng Fei, and Zhao Yun, two of them will challenge you to a duel. That will be determined. That's actually random. So it could be Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, Zheng Fei and Zhao Yun. It, it's random. Anyways, let him uh, use the Musu attack. Now I have to use mine. I was kind of expecting that. Can I get in the red health? Yes, I can. So now I'll just run away for a bit and then do that. And he's down. Just keep in mind, when he challenge... Uh, enemy generals to a duel, they have their Musu gauge, and you can actually see it, but expect them to use it right away, as soon as it's filled up, all the way. So, you gotta be careful there. Anyways, so, Xu Shang is there, and then Ding Fang will appear right by the escape point. So, just uh, make sure they both don't fall. And if you do, then uh, you'll get a game over. Anyways, Guan Yu is down. Now I'm gonna go for Zhao Yun right away and then focus on the KOs uh then. Anyways, there's Zhao Yun. Alright, he's the one I'm concerned about more than anyone because he has ridiculous range with his attacks and that will hurt me in a duel. So, anyways, yeah, let him use his Musu attack right away. And now I have to use mine. Boy, I fucked that one up. Oops. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Let's see if I get down to the red health. Or not. He's down. Alright. That's the hardest part for me, personally. Alright. So, now all I have to do is defeat the remaining enemy generals. And fortunately, Ding Fong also showed up because, uh, well decided to move independently because uh, if we allowed Xu Shang to fall it would have been a game over because uh, Ting Kwong would have been right there but uh, anyways let's go for Guan Ping and maybe I should set my uh, troops to attack oh you gotta be fucking kidding me he's actually coming for me now that's the first. And I definitely want that battle axe. Alright, one ping is down. Let's rack up a few KOs over here before I continue on. It seems like Zhuge Liang is heading for me again. Which, once again, is very fucking strange. Because you would think he'll go straight for the escape point, but no. I'm not even saying that in a bad way, I'm just saying just in general. Alright, so I got the 50 KOs. Now I have to go and defeat Zhou Song and Jian Yang, and we'll be set. And I have 
have Jigalion over here with me, so I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful to not accidentally defeat Jigalion, and I also gotta be careful not to die on top of that. So, let's be careful. That's not gonna finish him off. That will. Alright. Joe Song is down. Now we'll go for Jian Yang. Shit. Shit. And it's amazing that I don't have any items that I'm targeting the wrong person. Anyways. There goes Jian Yang. So we got the weapon. All we have to do now is defeat Juka Liang. But uh, easier said than done. That was a fuck up right there. That was a real fuck up. While uh, he's down, I'll go and grab the battle armor. And there's Ding Fong. So now, once Ding Fong falls, it's a game over, but, or if I die, but still, once again, I'm targeting the wrong person. That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyways, he's down. It appears I have met my destiny. And that's a win. Alright. So that's another one down. Our KO count is 100 right on the dot. We defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 8 minutes and 21 seconds. The points just bear with me because uh, it's going to take quite a bit. Seven thousand and sixty points. Not that that matters because both the points and the rank are at max. And there it is, the level eleven weapon, the uh, Scion Sword. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I will be corrected uh, in the next part. That's for sure. Uh, just like any other level eleven weapon, uh, the attack power is at plus sixty. And the four items that come with it are the Taurus Amulet, which gives you additional defense, uh, level 16, the Wing Boots, which gives you additional uh, jump, level 18, the Seven Star Sash, additional luck, level 13, the Elixir, which helps you fill up your moves to get it faster, uh, level 17. In order to get it, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general in the stage, except for Jigulian, and get 50 KOs. So. That's that, and that's how you get the weapon, and that's the weapon itself, so we'll move on. The bodyguards, as you know. The grade, obviously we got an S. Um, okay, we got an S with 96 points. Apparently, something didn't go right there uh, to get the perfect 100, but at the end of the day, in order to get an S rank, you have to get a point total of 90 or higher, or between 90 and 100. So, that's the main task, and uh, we got that. So, anyways, we will save, and 
there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends. And uh, before I officially sign off, kind of, because I already kind of did, um, the next or the last five level 11 weapons all had zero votes. However, due to the way I did the tiebreaker, the next level 11 weapon we will be getting is Xiao Chao's. So, Xiao Chao, Sun Tzu, Shu Zhu, the edit sword, oh, I think it's the edit rapier first, and then the edit sword, um, all those have zero votes. So, before I, I even give you a warning, I may not mention the number of votes for the next part. I may do, if that makes any sense, either or, but uh, just a heads up, every weapon from here on out after Zhou Yu's will not have any votes for that poll. So, with that being said, the next level 11 weapon we will be getting is Xiao Chao's. And, um, <laughs> yeah, no comment, but anyways, peace out.